In most programs, you want to customize the layout so it fits your style. In a Libre design, you can change the toolbar locations, create custom toolbars, and create custom color schemes. When creating toolbars, the icons shown are dependent upon which workspace you are in. When a toolbar is created, it will be available in all other workspaces, but obviously not all icons are going to be used in all workspaces, such as extruding in a 2D drawing or working with a table in assembly. Not all functions are available, but the vast majority are. Default toolbars cannot be edited. To make a new toolbar, from the main menu go to View Customize Toolbar or right click on the icons in the workspace and select Customize Toolbar. Select New. In the New Custom Toolbar dialog box, type in a meaningful name for your new toolbar. You can copy it from an existing toolbar if you just want to make some minor modifications. Select the categories that you want to select the icons from. You can use icons from several different categories. Select the item you want and click Add. So you do not have multiple instances of the same icon in the same toolbar. Once it is selected, it will be removed from the Available Toolbar column and will be added to the Current Toolbar Buttons column. For flyouts, first add a flyout. Note, you cannot have nested flyouts. Highlight the flyout in the right-hand column. Select the icon in the left-hand column and select Add to Flyout. A color scheme is much more than the background color. It includes all the various colors of every single item and action in a Libre design, including sketch grid color, 3D sketch nodes, reference planes, annotations, background, everything, all under one color scheme name. When you create a new color scheme, you name it, change any and all colors you wish to, and save it. What you have then is a large group of settings all under one name. When you call up this color scheme in the future, all the colors in the system will change to whatever they were when that color scheme was created and named. To create a new color scheme, go to Tools, Options, Color Scheme. Select New. Type in a name. Select an existing color scheme in the Copy From drop down menu. Select a category which serves as a general heading. Select each field within that category you wish to change. Select a color. A color palette will appear. And note, a solid background color is achieved by selecting the same color for the top and bottom fields. When you are finished with the fields in that category, you can repeat the process by selecting another category if desired. When you are all set, click OK to save and apply the new color scheme. Alibre Design's user preferences and settings are retained in Microsoft Windows.net profile. In order to follow the steps on this screen and access the files that are described, you must have the Microsoft Windows folder option, Show Hidden Files and Options, active. Please look up the term Hidden Files in the Windows Help System for further assistance if needed. In this tutorial, you learned how to create custom tool menus and color schemes. You also learned where these settings are stored so you can create a backup of these settings.